Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Sam. In this project, we studied different ways to invest in cryptocurrencies. Our goal is simple. Our goal is to find alpha in cryptocurrency investments. Um, people have been studying equity and bonds for many years, but cryptos have been popular for only a couple of years. So we want to trade cryptos systematically and efficiently. As you may know, cryptos are new assets, so we mocked the ways of investing in stocks. We started with technical indicators such as the moving average and RSI to determine whether the asset is overbought or oversold. This graph shows the traits of using MACD strategy, and the red and green arrows represent the sell and buy signals respectively. Um, but you may see that there are some problems using this kind of strategy because um, in parts like this, um, there are many trades happened in a short period of time, and we're going to fix this in a couple of slides. Next, we will move on to the RSI. If the RSI is above this red line, above 70, it means that this crypto is overbought, and if it is below this green line, it means that it is oversold. Um, as you can see in this kind of graph, RSI gives unclear signals most of the time, and this makes us hard to make decisions. So how are we going to fix these problems? Using a single indicator is risky and unreliable, so we tried to combine them to and backtested the results. Um, it gave us positive results since it removed unnecessary traits and generates correct signals to adjust our own positions. Move on to the next step. We realized that cryptos are sentiment driven, which later we proved that by regression analysis. As you can see, um, a tweet from Elon Musk or the Fed can impact the crypto market instantly. We wanted to find a way to monitor this news and react as quickly as possible. However, humans are human, we can't work 24 7, and humans are indecisive and we make uh, mistakes all the time. Therefore, we built a bot to gather crypto news that may impact the market. We then use an NLP model to analyze these news, and each of them are given a sentiment score. Based on the sentiment score, we can increase our holdings or even short sell the positions accordingly. From this back testing graph, we can see that the red line, which indicates the, our strategy using market sentiment, outperforms the buy and hold strategy. And surprisingly, um, using this kind of market sentiment analysis gives some very impressive results. After talking about technical indicators and market sentiment analysis, we are moving another step further. We wanted to predict future prices. We applied time series price data to build machine learning models, ARIMA, Facebook Profit, and Long Short Term Memory respectively. Each of them has its strength, like the Profit handles trends and seasonality well, and the Long Short Term Memory is a neural network which can selectively remember or forget inputs, preventing long term dependencies. The model building process is more or less similar for each model. For example, we import three months of price data to train the model. Then we predict the price of the upcoming one month. We then backtest the results to compare its accuracy. And then we adjust different parameters in order to get more accurate results. We go through this process a couple of times until we finalize the model with and acceptable accuracy. A point of note, in the model building process, we realized that the model prediction sometimes goes sideways or the market price goes down drastically. To prevent these kinds of huge losses and to improve the overall accuracy, we introduced stop loss strategy, which sets the threshold at 95% value at risk. If the price hits the threshold, it sells the positions immediately to prevent losses. To conclude, by using the above mentioned models, 
combined with the stop loss strategy, we can achieve lower volatility and less drawdown, which makes trading more profitable. And we believe that we are close to finding alpha in crypto investments. So far, we talked about many ways to trade and predict prices. How are we going to combine these things? How can we apply these strategies effectively without changing a bunch of codes every time? Therefore, we decided to build an app to help us monitor prices, to visualize the effects of each strategy, and to compare their effectiveness. So let's take a look at the app demo. Say, for example, we want to change the params of the MACD strategy. We can simply input different values and it will automatically update. The green and red flags indicate the buy and sell time if we implemented this MACD strategy. Below, we can also compare the strategy returns against the buy and hold strategy. Say we want to scope into higher frequency trading, we can simply choose the time period from the bar. Users can also determine the time period they would like to view using the date time selector. Of course, we don't only want to trade Bitcoins. Users can choose from the top 10 cryptos from the list and apply these strategies. The graph behaves differently when choosing other strategies. For LSTM, a predicted price can be shown in the red line, which helps us make trading decisions. If we choose RSI, the graph shows the historical strength indices. You can also find the current overbought and oversold signal here. For now, it stays neutral, so which means that we should probably maintain our own positions. Here comes to the end of the presentation. Time is limited and we are not able to dig too deep into details. Thank you for watching and hope you understand more about our project and enjoy investing in cryptocurrencies as we do. Thank you, have a nice day, cheers.